Welcome back and thank you for stopping by. Today I want to take you through this tutorial where I construct an LED Bobo Balloon centerpiece. Now this can be used for a winter wonderland theme party, Christmas party, or really anything depending on how you customize the colors. So if you're curious to see how I created this look, stick around. Okay, so I'm going to start by building our base, which will consist of three layers. I'll be using my homemade baby box balloon sizer to measure the sizes of the balloons. You want them all to be the same size so they lay on each other correctly and look really nice. So I'm the last. We'll do six inch at the base. Yeah, you know what? Actually, we'll do seven at the base six in the middle, and then we'll do five at the top. Tuck it in, twist it around for security. And you wanna make sure the next layer lays in between the space of the previous layer. So we're not gonna have it like this, right? We're gonna have it like that. So it falls, nestles in nice and securely. Clear will be our five inch. I like how creating these layers of balloons at the bottom really secures the base so your balloon stick isn't gonna fall over. It isn't going to sway. <clears throat> from the weight of the top because you have this nice base of essentially 12 balloons supporting it and keeping it up. Now that I finished the base, I'm going to do the silver foil filled balloons. So take one of your bubble balloons. Again, I'm using the 20 inch. So pre-stretch it as much as you can and then I also pre-stretch it by inflating it with my electric pump. And then I deflate. And I'll do this like two or three more times, depending on how it starts to look. If it's looking round, if it's looking... I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. Nice and round. So we deflate it and take our homemade funnel. We're gonna use this to insert the gold, not the gold, the silver flakes, the silver foil. So put your funnel in, okay? And slide the balloon up the funnel. You wanna slide the funnel in to the point where the tip is actually inside the balloon and not inside the neck, so you want it inside the body. That way when the flakes come in, they'll come right down and they won't get stuck in the neck part. We've done that, I'm gonna open my silver flakes and I'll be using tweezers to put them in, just to avoid, minimize the mess. It's so pretty. These never get old. <laughs> Take my silver flakes. Even if it comes out as a clump like this, I have a trick to break it up that doesn't make a mess. So you put it in your foil, just like this. You take part of your balloon stick and push it down. And as you push it down, you're actually breaking up the pieces. All right. So now that we have all of our silver pieces in, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my electric pump to get them to move around. It'll also help break them up. Okay, once you have everything enough in there, however much you want, you can add more or less depending on the effect that you're looking for. Like I said, this is a winter wonderland theme, so I want it to look like that snow effect. You can, it off so there's two ways 
You can tie it, of course, which I'm gonna do. And then you can also heat seal. I'm actually going to do both because I just don't wanna take the risk of losing any air. I'll show you how I heat seal. You can buy a plastic heat sealer from Walmart or Amazon for less than $30. I recommend that because it's the exact temperature. If you use something that's too hot, the plastic will melt and it will just create more holes. And then of course, if it's not hot enough, it won't properly seal. But right now, shipping is really late and I just don't have a heat sealer. So I'm gonna use my mini flat iron. This is something I had in my closet from a long time ago and I haven't used it in very long. So this gets really hot and it melts right through the bobo balloon. So what I do is I use it during the first 30 seconds that I turn it on right when it's still warming up. It's pretty much sealed. Yeah, just like this. But of course, for me, that's not enough. I like to have a little bit of extra protection. So that's why I'm also going to tie a nice knot in it once this cools down. So now that it's cooled down, I'm just gonna stretch this neck just like that and tie an additional knot. That way I feel like I have double protection from things leaking. And you can even heat seal it again at the end if you want. You could just keep going because you can never be too sure, right? Sealed up. I'm going to place my balloon into the holder. These come with the sticks and it's meant to keep the balloon upward. So just fish this through. Fish this through the hole right here. Pull it down. And then, I don't know. I mean, you can just kind of tie it. I'm not sure what the proper way is. I just tie it, tie it around itself. These necks can really stretch, so. Just kind of go around. It's tied nicely on there. And then you can put your balloon stick back in. There's still enough room. There you go. Yeah, I just love the way this looks when the light hits it. They look like this. So just take them out, unwrap them carefully, and try to get them as straight as you can. I mean, they're really flexible, so that should be easy. Always test out your lights before you put them on. Just make sure they work. The worst thing is to get them completely installed and then find out they, the battery is defective or something like that. So this is how I do it. I start with the end, the non-battery end. And let's turn this. I use the seam as my guide. Okay, this is the seam. I'm gonna turn it back around though. I take this tip, I put it around, and I just kind of twist it on. This is metal wire, it's meant to be twisted into place. And then I just go up and follow the seam. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Just go up, follow the seam. Because it's that metal wire, it's gonna bend with the balloon and hold its shape. I'm gonna come back down. Push it back through the balloon base, this plastic holder. So I need to take my battery pack and fish it through. Give it a nice little pull. Then I come through again. I'm looping it around one of the prongs of the base to provide support. And now I'm gonna come up the other end. 
and that's how you get your, um, I don't know, cross shape, I guess you can say. Go back around. You can loop it back through again for more security to hold it in place. I'm just gonna use this really convenient stick right here, clip rather, and pull it through. You're just looping it around. There's no right or wrong way. Just loop it around however you feel most comfortable, what's easiest for you. Now I'm going to add my smaller balloons to the top in reverse order with the top being the largest and the bottom being the smallest. So I'm gonna take another pack. And if your LEDs are long enough, you may not need two. These are a little shorter, so I'm going to use two. I don't know if these are short or if this, or if this centerpiece is just big, I'm not sure. For this time, I'm gonna have the battery pack at the bottom. And just put it again somewhere that's easy to access. And then I'll just nice and gently Take my lights and weave them around. So this is the final look. Let me know what you think below and stay tuned for more.